Um, yeah. Um, so hi, I'm, I'm Shu Hawley from Trinity Center for Asian Studies, um, Trinity College Dublin. So um, so like the focus of my oops, page. Let me see. Um, anyway, so like the focus of my research is the Tuzhou language, which is a minority language in central South China um, that belongs to the Tibeto Burman language family. And just to mention, like the Tuzhou language has no writing system. And you may wonder, like, how are they supposed to do, like, to have transcribers to transcribe a document in this language that has no writing system? So actually, the tradition, at least in China, um, to document languages that has no writing system is to use um, both Chinese and international phonetic alphabet, IPA symbols. So like here um, in this picture, this is a typical type of word list um, in China to document um, the minority language that has no writing system. So basically here we have all of the information structured in a table way. And the leftmost column here, we have the lexical meanings of the words um, recorded in Chinese and followed by columns pre presenting the pronunciations of the corresponding words in each and every dialect recorded. Um, so speaking of the training, the training for this model includes around roughly around 14,000 words, um, 345 pages, and we reached the um, and character error rate at 5.9. And let's talk a little bit more about the training. So first about the layout. So initially we were trying to kind of develop a um, table model because everything is structured in the table way, but then somehow we decided it would be easier for us to uh, do like this on this page. So here we have only one text region identified and so like for each of the row in the table, we cover it with a baseline. So basically the, lex the lexical meanings in Chinese on the very left side, and then followed by the corresponding pronunciation. So the first row is just the title of the page, lexical world list. And the second row, um, um, we have three columns. Each of them are kind of tags of different dialects we have on this page. But still, like we ran into some of the issues, like if you can see here on the fourth row. Um, so like we here, we have um, the word, the word recorded for the lexical meaning sun. So here in the first dialect we have here, we have um, in this dialect, two different pronunciations of the same word recorded and it span two lines. So, um, Usually will, the case will be like the model cannot recognize this correctly. Instead, you will recognize say um, two different baselines and it will, it will also ruin the um, reading order of the file of the page as well. And somehow it cannot be solved um, by the model, by training new models. So basically um, speaking the latest version of the layout model, we can only um, manually correct it. And the transcription of Chinese, so the model now can recognized to uh, 2,400 characters. Um, but still we ran into some of the issues which can be seen in two ways. So the first is like creating, the model is, is ten, tends to creating new words. Uh, so here, like, I'm not sure whether if it should be called as an error, because um, as we can see here for the first two um, examples for creating. So like, um, so you always like the one on the left hand side um, it's the original version we give to train the model. And uh, the one on the right-hand side is like what we got from the model. So like if, if you can see, there are always several extra strokes added by the model. But like for the first, um, for the first pair, um, the one is actually not an error because it's an alternative form of the original word. Well, the, in the second example, the one on the, on the right hand side is like the traditional form of the Chinese character. Um, but even rarer, we, we kind of have the cases where we have the model combined a um, part of a Chinese character with another part of another Chinese character. So we, which makes completely a new 
Chinese character that is not existed in the language. And the second way we can see of the arrays replacing. So whenever it maps some say um, difficult character that it cannot handle or deal with, it will kind of replace uh, what it has been trained. So as you can see from these um, two pairs, so still like the one on the left is the original version we give. Speaking of the IPA transcription, I, I think the model now can recognize say 100 IPA symbols, more or less it's all we have in the system. And the problem would also be like mixing, um, the model kind of mixing up some of the um, different symbols. So here we have um, the number two mixed with the um, stop consonant, um, yeah. So here we have numbers because of the language is a tonal language. And normally in China, the scholars will record it with numbers um, to represent different tone levels. And also we have um, the model to mix with two different, say, um, um, vowels. And that's basically all about it. Thank you. <laughs>